Hey everyone, it's James from Fun Foods, and today I'm going to show you how to make this chocolate Halloween cake decorated with candy corn and Reese's Pieces and Kit Kats. So keep watching and I'll show you step by step how to make this. The first thing we need to do to make this is start off with a large bowl. To that I want to add two cups of sugar. Next I'm going to add one and three-fourths cups of flour. Then three-fourths cups of cocoa. One and a half teaspoons of baking powder one and a half teaspoons of baking soda. Let's first whisk this all together before we add in our wet ingredients. Now I've also preheated my oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit to get it ready. Next we want to add in two large eggs. One cup of whole milk. Half a cup of vegetable oil two teaspoons of vanilla extract. And we just want to mix this up uh, for a couple minutes here. Next, we're going to add about a cup of boiling water to this. Be careful, don't burn yourself. Now this is a very runny batter, so I am going to divide it into two separate pans. These are two eight inch round pans, because it's quite a lot. Just put about half full in there. And this next one is a spring form pan that I'm using, so I want to put it in another pan, because this is a very runny recipe. It may run out of the bottom, we'll see. Depending on the size of your pan, it will determine how long we keep it in the oven for. So we're going to bake it at 350 for somewhere between 35 to 40 minutes. I'll check it to see if it's done. All right, so I had it baking for 35 minutes in the oven. Uh, just stick a toothpick in it, make sure it comes out clean, and then you know it's done. We're just going to let this cool down completely before we move on to the next step. So I'll let my cake cool down completely now. What we're going to do is remove it from the spring form pan by just popping this open. Now I'm going to transfer this onto a flat dish. We're just going to flip this over. Now this was a very moist cake, so a lot of it stuck to the bottom of my pan. I could have avoided uh, that happening by putting some parchment paper on there. Uh, that's just a trick you might want to try to make it easier for the cake to come out. Now that I got our cake on our cardboard, which I'm going to serve it on, what I'm going to do is open up little things of Kit Kats. Now these Kit Kats come orange, like so. And I'm keeping them together, the two by two, and it'll just make it easier for us to go around this. So just open these up. And these are going to be stacked up like so, all the way around. Now. I do have some frosting in a piping bag, which I'm just going to go along and squirt some frosting off around the side, and that's going to hold our Kit Kats up. Just take your Kit Kat, press it in, just like so. And I like to keep all my Kit Kats the same, facing the same direction with the words, but it really doesn't matter. So I ran out of my orange Kit Kats, so I have to go with the regular Kit Kats for the other two, it looks like. So make sure you get plenty of orange Kit Kats. Mine will be extra unique. Now I happen to have a larger springform pan here, and I'm going to use that to kind of hold our Kit Kats together. go. Now what we're going to do is fill the inside. I'm going to put a little bit of icing in there and spread it around. And we're also going to decorate it with some more candy because it is Halloween, right? So at this stage, you can fill this with whatever type of candy you like. Of course, we're going to do some candy corn. But before we do that, let's go with some Reese's Pieces. I'm just going to take some Reese's Pieces and spread that around. 
Now we'll put some candy corn in there. Of course, you need a little pumpkin, candy corn pumpkin, to go right in the middle. So now after we decorated it, we're just gonna take this, we're gonna put this in the refrigerator for at least a half hour. That's gonna let that frosting firm against the Kit Kats that we put around the side, and then we can take the springform pan off. So after about a half hour, you can remove your cake from the refrigerator and that frosting should have firmed up enough that your Kit Kats will stay on. Now we're just gonna remove it from the springform pan, get some pitchers, and then eat it. All right, now it's time to cut it. I'm gonna cut it in between a couple of the pieces of Kit Kat. Let's cut it like that. And it will fall a little, but that's okay. There you go, that's one piece right there as the rest falls over. <laughs> well, now it's time for the taste test. I'm gonna dig into this and see how it tastes. Now I'm gonna get a lot of these Reese's. Ooh, yeah, I love Reese's Pieces. And this cake is so moist. Mmm, cannot wait. Mmm, delicious. If you love moist chocolate cake, this is it. Well, thanks everyone for watching. I hope you enjoyed watching me make this chocolate Halloween cake, decorate it with all this good stuff, Kit Kats and candy corn and Reese's and everything. So if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button. Also hit that big red subscribe button if you're not already subscribed to get new videos all the time. Be sure to check out some of the videos I have off to the side. And until then, I'll see you next time. Let's start off with a large pot or pan or, well, let's start over. Blah, blah. Now, blah, blah, blah. Now that I had uh, one and a half tablespoons, no, one and a half teaspoons of coat. Uh, now, depending on how thick or start.